Take Paul Hicks here from YouTube channel Order is Optional. Come along with us for some fishing and how to watch your boat. This is something decent. He's bought good, but he's coming. coming. Oh, it's a stonker sweet fish. Sweetly. Grassy, that's a beautiful fish. That's a good fish. Oh. I got this. I like these circle hooks. Not, uh, not everyone likes them, but I like them. And uh, I will give them this. When you hook a fish, it stays hooked, which can be a bit of fun trying to get them out. Okay, that's a very nice grassy sweet lip caught on. We caught them on some of the. If you watch recently, we, we went out uh, live baiting. We caught a heap of herring. We froze those. This was caught on. Uh, a herring just chopped in half on a Panonoster rig. Um, really good size, sweet, sweetie grass, grassy sweet lip. Beautiful fish, actually good eating. We'll measure him, see how big he is. He's 42 centimeters, so that's a good fish. I'm out here fishing today with uh, the dog, Ellie. Well, fishing is a dog's life, isn't it? So much to do, just to sleep and drink some water. Another good fish here. Oh my goodness, he's woke up. It's a good fish too. Having a good day out here today. Tides are wrong, everything's wrong, but I'm getting fish. Oh, it's a nice red emperor. I don't think it'd be legal, but nevertheless, that is a nice fish. Very nice fish. Every time you catch a red emperor, that's a good day. You can say what you want about circle hooks. Well, I love them because once they hook the fish, they hook it good. Look at this for a beautiful red emperor. Uh, that's a nice fish, isn't it? That is a, a really nice fish. Quite happy with that. Let it go. He's not quite big enough. Um, and uh, this is such a beautiful fish. How can you keep these undersized? So he's going to go back. So I don't know if you can don't know if you can see it but that's all the coral spawn quite amazing um, lots of it it's all over at the moment you probably won't see too far in the distance but it's quite extraordinary fishing's going all right not bad at all actually um not the best day but i'm catching fish so it is the best day
having some difficulty. My GoPro's gone flat, so I'm doing this on my phone while I fish. But there we go, a really nice little um, tusky. Um, I don't think it'd be big enough. I want them well and truly over 35 to get the fillets off them. But nevertheless, it's better than catching nothing. It's better than sitting around at home. Okay, we caught another red emperor. This is another one. It's not the same one. I'm not. It's not the same red emperor I caught before. I'm not sure what size I'm measuring at the moment. But uh, beautiful fish. Again, he'll go back. It's too small. Got to be 55 of them. He's probably around 40. So we'll chuck him back. But that was fun. Jeez, he took that well. Right. Well, we've uh, been out fishing for a bit. Having a great morning out here. Get some decent fish. Um, but. My GoPro's gone flat, so I've just had to mount my phone up on backing and just to show you this fish. This is the second red I've caught here this morning. Don't normally catch red in this spot, but um, they are, honestly, they are beautiful. I'm going to show you in a minute, but uh, they are just the most beautiful fish. I'm going to try and get these circle hooks out. Now, as I've been saying to you all morning, can't go wrong with these circle hooks. Now, I know they're not everyone's cup of tea, but I'm telling you, once you cook a fish with a circle hook, it won't come out. And uh, so much so, it's not always easy to get the hook out of the fish, but they are a good, they are a good hook. I will admit they're not for everyone, but I think they work really well. Okay, there's our second red emperor for the morning. Um, There's our second red for the morning. So I've got to head off, head back. We're just going to troll back. I've got my new lure to troll out. We've got two out the back. We'll troll back and see if we can pick up a mackerel on the way back. That'd be nice. I think that would be lovely. It's been a great morning. Welcome Paul Hicks here from YouTube channel Older is Optional. And today we're trying a new wash. Now I've taken the boat out yesterday and it's got really, really dirty. You'll see that in some of the footage I'm showing now. Uh, lots of coral spawn around yesterday, so that's a perfect chance to try this. You remember I did it on, um, what's it called, man? Salty. Salty. I did it on something to be in the screen now. And we'll see how this goes in comparison to it. We've got a storm coming, so I've got to get cracking. So uh, let's get into it. So here we go, we got it all ready to go. It's a little bit of a different setup on the top here. We've got the arrow for salt away. One thing I will say though, so far that I'm very impressed with, uh, no leaks, not one leak. The salt one was horrible, leaks like a sieve. This thing, not one leak. Anyway, let's see how we go. We rinse it, then put the stuff on, then rinse it off. So we'll see how that goes. Soap there. Okay, so we can see the soap's going on now. We've got it on salt away. Uh, lots of good soap, good pressure. And we're putting this... Um... Oh, it seems, I'd have to say so far, it's early days, but so far I'd have to say it's, it's going all right. So we'll get underneath the boat. I'm really keen to see how this goes with no scrubbing. Because that's what it, technically, I guess it's what it should do, is you don't have to scrub. So we'll see how that looks. Still got the red stain dirt from that trip to up north, oh sorry, in the Western, oh sorry, in the Northern Territory at King Ash Bay. But, uh, I, t I give this, it's lots, I'll tell you this much, it's nice and soapy. Lots of soap, wash all that salt away which corrodes. Okay, we'll let that sit. We'll go down to the back. Put it on the engine cover as well. Okay, you can see there, all on there. It is washing it away okay, but I'd like to see it be better, but it's not too early to tell. Got to give it time to do its thing. Salty Captain's the other one, Leanne, I think, we used. Okay, lots of spray down here. It is, it is getting it off quite good, actually. It did have, uh, you can see there, lots of um, 
Lots of residue yesterday from the coral spawn. Alright, so now we're going to rinse it. So flick this across to do not drop. I right, rinse. Okay, so now we're going to rinse and see if it washes all the salt away. Okay, can you give that to me please? Okay, so Ian's got the sponge going. Um, just a couple of spots where it wasn't coming off. I, it did get it particularly dirty with that coral spawn, but it seems to be working quite well. It's even getting off the well, that's a very good point, Liam. We had red stained red stained dirt from our trip to King Ash Bay, and what Leanne's saying is that a sponge and this salt away is actually clearing that off which is fantastic because I've tried it with a pressure washer all sorts of different things trying to get rid of it and um, this is doing it there what is it? look at that man okay so we can see we can see that land has actually that red dirt is washing away beautifully with this spray actually that's really impressive because I've tried everything to get that off and uh, land's now getting off with the cloth um, as we clean it off with the residue of the salt away on it that's excellent I'm very impressed with that. That's still going. That's impressive, isn't it, Liam? So we can also um, Apparently, this is a really good um, sol 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 solvent through your mufflers. Just gonna put that first. So we'll see how that goes. Not that I know we're about to tell too much, but let's put these on. So you listen to that, 150 per. So there we go, now we're um, giving some soluble through it. Um, the connector's not allowing the best flow. What's that? Yeah, is that... The connections aren't the best, but I don't know whether it's... That, that like now is your... Um... Now, uh, it was pretty good, but as you saw yesterday as we were doing that together, we got chased out by the rain, so I'm just going to do a concluding uh, video. What do we think of Salt Away? In terms of the actual product and it working, it was fantastic. It, it cleaned the boat beautifully. It cleaned um, some red dust from our trip to King Ash Bay that kind of had impregnated itself into the, into the fiberglass. It actually cleaned it up, so I'm very pleased with that perspective. Um, I actually really like the product. The fixtures were okay. I wouldn't say they were brilliant, they were okay. The only problem that I would suggest, I think the product is fantastic. My only concern around it is that it was so expensive. This bucket, which I gave to Leanne for Christmas, which she didn't really like, this bucket was reduced from $160 to $100. So it's still $100, but the recommended retail was $160. Now in that bucket, this is what we've got. In the bucket we got a nice chamois. So the chamois is nice. We got a chamois. We got a container of um, the product. Not a big container, but a container of the product. We got a sponge. Get that from super cheap for two dollars. And we got this bit of gear here, which is what we put it on with. It's not bad. Um, it worked okay. It was. I'd give it 
six, seven out of 10 for its ability. It didn't leak as much as the other one, but it goes okay. And this nice bucket, but, but I had to put the decorations on it, but this bucket, that was reduced from $160 to $100. I think that's brutally expensive, but the product worked really well. Try it for yourself and let us know in the comments what you think.